What is going on guys, my name is Buzzsaw, and today is finally the day where I begin my Tony Hawk's American Wasteland Let's Play, playing the entire story mode of the game from start to finish, and I'll record every part of it and put them into into 10 to 15 minute sections. So I hope you guys enjoy this, I have been promising this for literally the last month and a half, and ever since I did my Tony Hawk's underground let's play i had really great success with that and i decided i wanted to do this game since this is my second favorite tony hawk game so we're gonna run with the normal difficulty and we're gonna begin this game so let's do it i'm really excited to be doing this because as you know that i really had a fun time with tony hawk's underground so uh what better to do it with a different tony hawk game than american wasteland and american wasteland is a great game along with underground so right now we're looking at one of the skaters that you meet in the game and he picked up a little magazine cover that has American Wasteland written on it. Once upon a time in the middle of freaking nowhere. There's a bus and an angry bus driver. And, uh, and this is where you pick your skater and basically you can change how your skater looks but I'm just going to pick a base character. You can't really do anything. Uh, to change the stuff on your character right away, but I'm just gonna pick this guy in the striped shirt over here because he looks The guy most like me a little bit. So let's just pick him and we roll right into a cutscene right off the bat And as I did with the last game I'm not gonna skip over cutscenes because they kind of help tell the story a little bit and what's going on in the story but uh, right now we run into this girl, this very clingy girl, and uh, her name's Kelly. She doesn't really have any significance other than these first, this first minute cutscene. And um, then when you get to LA, you kind of don't even talk to her ever again. But, uh, <laughs> the game and the, some of the cutscenes are depicted in cartoons like you just saw right there and so it's pretty funny and it's a pretty it makes the game really unique because it does something that's really never been done in a tony hawk game where it just kind of shows in a funny way like a cartoon version of what's going on in the cutscene so uh, as we look at the hollywood sign we have arrived and we're getting let off right now at the bus stop as kelly says goodbye to us That laugh could pretty much get annoying, and oh, I just got popped in the face by these punks over here, and these uh, local punks in Hollywood basically just took our stuff, and that is Mindy, and she's the first person you meet as you get into LA, as she helps us get on our feet. Come here, I'll show you a few places you should check out. And so yeah, she's uh, pretty much the first person you're going to meet, and she is the one that's going to help you most in the beginning. And eventually you're going to get your stuff back, but uh, those punks took it for now. Okay, here's the deal. In Hollywood, there's a clothing surplus store, a skate shop, and a barber shop. Can see, let's see after you fix that dude. Oh, the, um, the hair salon is actually named Psychosis. Optic motherfucking psychosis, how you doing? No, I'm just kidding, but uh, it's pretty funny. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna try to pick a hairstyle that kind of looks like mine a little bit. Some just kind of long, uh, not mullet, but uh, some hair that kind of looks similar. I'm trying to find something right here. Um, I would say that that one I was just on medium. Uh, where is it? Some of my best work, I, I think. guess that looks the most like my hair, except for that kind of strand of hair that's right, like, on top of my left eye. But, uh, I'm just gonna oh, buy it styling. anyway. Who cares about the hair? I'll buy a hat or something to make it, <laughs> to cover it if I don't really like it, but, uh... Okay, so, uh, now we're gonna get some new clothes. I'm gonna get some new jeans and a new shirt, because I'm gonna ditch the, uh, kind of formal striped shirt here. Welcome to the shop. Try to find something. How can I help you this afternoon? Good looking shirt. That shirt's a good fit for you. That military coat is nice actually shirt. pretty cool. I think I'm actually gonna choose that if I don't I find anything else. You're gonna yeah, like nothing that shirt. really too amazing. Kind of that basic shirts with just logos on them. 
Actually, I don't want to buy that. Nope. Alright, that's the end of the list. And I'm actually just going to buy that military jacket because that looked actually pretty cool. And, uh... Good looking shirt. Military coat. There we go. Nice pick. Anything more for you? And I'll get some jeans. How you liking those pants? Tight skater jeans. You got good taste, right. kid. Come there we back go. anytime. Looking pretty good. Looking spiffy. Oh, check you out. New clothes, new look. I can tell that hair the kind of part of my hair that is kind of sticking out is gonna annoy me throughout this uh game, but whatever. <laughs> It's kind of just out there, like right in the middle of my head, and it's in plain view, and it looks kind of silly, but whatever. If it wasn't there, it would look a lot better, but anyways, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's hair in a video game. I don't, I don't know why I'm complaining. Right now, Mindy is talking to us about why we got into LA, and basically what we're doing is trying to find and try to escape to the place, which is LA, where skateboarding kind of began, and, uh, well, in California, it kind of began, and along the Dogtown days and stuff like that, and she's just kind of talking about it. Right there, she makes a little joke comment about not having our stuff, and so we're just kind of trying to get our stuff back here, and we actually get an achievement for... Uh, whatever we just did, achievement unlocked the new U for 50 gamer score, and we're gonna save right there. As I like to say, better safe than sorry. If I don't save, I'm gonna lose progress. If something goes wrong with my PVR or something like that, usually nothing ever goes wrong. But uh, you know, it's better to save. Okay, so uh, this dude is gonna teach us how to caveman. Pretty simple. <laughs> All you have to do is press two buttons and jump and stuff, and now we're gonna grind. Big deal. How's that gonna help me? You can use it to bust some sick lines. Here, check this out. Switch to walk and then grind again. Now you. Oh, so revolutionary! Getting off your board, then jumping, and then grinding again. I mean, I would have never thought of that, honestly. Follow me. This guy actually turns out to be quite the uh, wuss. He asks to, uh, he teaches you some moves, and he asks to go talk to that Mindy girl that you were talking to before, and he basically wimps out from talking to her, so he's a little shy. Looks like we're running up on 8 minutes right now, 7.50. I'm heading there now. As I said before, if you didn't hear me, I'm gonna basically make the parts of this video just like the Tony Hawk's Underground Let's Play. I'm gonna make it anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. Each part of the Let's Play could be 10 to 15 minutes, so just just warning you. Right now, Mindy is talking about the skate um, skate shop challenges on the front window. You could do them for extra points or whatever. Extra challenge points. Grind for two seconds, land a 2,000 point combo. Stuff like that. Caveman. Oh, that could have been my combo, but I bailed. For some reason, every time I do a Madonna, I never land like in the correct way. I always bail that trick for some reason. Uh, it's just really weird. It's that one trick that I always land like on a because of the way your board spins in the air i always don't land on my board i always land on the ground he's new in town and he's looking to pick i might can you do a kick come on man of course cool i'll teach you ben affleck so right now we have to do a kick flip over ben affleck or ben who fleck that's what they the locals call him ben who fleck uh that's pretty cool pretty funny Alright. Okay, that was it. I don't know why that didn't really work the first time, but um What the hell? I did the I did the kickflip over his head. It's still not working. Oh yeah. Um I can't revert. I just failed that trick completely and I don't even know how that happened. Once again, it still didn't work. Oh my god, for a fourth time it didn't work. Oh, finally, yes. I got it. That wasn't even over his head. That was, like, to the side of his head, but whatever. Right. We Wait finally cut it. Man, he sucked in Pearl Harbor. That's 
what Dwayne here is telling us. Now you Teaching us how to manual. Simple. Now it's manual from the star to the star. All right, manual from the star of Tony Hawk to Tony Alva. Tony to Tony. Cool. Is now the name of that guy. And, and also, I forgot to say one other thing. You basically in the beginning of the game, you kind of learn your tricks like individually, and in the first like probably 20 to 30 minutes you kind of learn your tricks over time and like sometimes you can't do tricks like right there when i said i couldn't revert i haven't learned revert but right on this challenge that i'm doing right now with uh ian and Dwayne, i actually learned the revert and you kind of acquire the skills over the time in the first like half hour of the game so right there we just got the revert down just kind of perfecting it not like we need to but just doing it anyway not hey, too not shabby. Sounded really weird. She has a voice that sounds like it's gonna crack every two seconds, but whatever. Alright, well, I'm actually gonna cut it there, guys. We're running at about 11 minutes and 15 seconds right now, so I'm actually gonna cut it right here, and then in the next episode, we're actually gonna cover getting back our stuff. We're gonna take down the Hollywood punks that stole our stuff and get it back, and hopefully move on to skating in Beverly Hills. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a rating if you did, and I'll talk to you guys later. Expect episode 2 in the next couple of days, or tomorrow, or whenever I feel like posting it. So, thanks guys. Peace.